welcome to Mixed Mediology. Okay, so this is the second attempt at me recording this video. I already recorded it once, but I hit a button on my camera and somehow I wasn't recording video. I was only recording still shots. So, this is take two. <laughs> um, I am here in my house with nothing. So, if there is an echo or I sound kind of far away, that's why. I'm here, I'm sitting on my air mattress right now because I'm living on an air mattress and we went and bought fold up chairs <laughs> to sit on. And that's about it. I'm living on minimal stuff here. But um, I wanted to check in with you guys and kind of show you what I've been up to and uh, catch you up in my journal because I'm going to start recording my art journal process again. And I'm really happy about that. Last few weeks have been extremely busy. We were putting my house up for rent, so we we're trying to get different things ready for, you know, renters when they come in. And my, it's just been one thing after another trying to get things taken care of. So um, I wanted to do a flip through of what I've done so far in my art journal with just my limited supplies. And I wanted to tell you about my dirty little secret. I have a problem. Like I've, got, I've, it's, it's a real problem. <laughs> so I was here with limited supplies, and you saw what I put in my traveling art studio. Very, very minimal. And supply-wise, that's fine. Like I'm okay with the amount of supplies that I've got. Although I do feel the need to go buy more supplies. <laughs> but I know in my head I have more supplies in Italy, and I'll have them back soon. However, in my brilliance, I forced myself to keep things that, uh, one, I never use because, two, I don't really like them, thinking, okay, I have nothing else. I will have to use these, so I'll either use them up and never buy them again, or, you know, maybe I'll learn to like them and, and I'll want to use them in the future. That was my thinking process behind the stuff that I left behind kind of regretting that shit now because I hate some of the stuff that I kept like I'm not happy I kept the crappy stuff but I'm not happy and then I didn't keep some of my favorite stuff I, like I didn't keep my favorite white marker and I didn't keep any distress ink and I used distress ink for aging things and to to give things an antique look and for edging and all and I didn't keep one so, um, yeah, and I also did not keep any embellishments. Like, all I kept was basic supplies. And I collect shit all the time. Like, I collect the most random crap. Whenever I'm walking through a parking lot or through a store or whatever, I constantly see little bits and pieces of things that I collect. And I then use that in my art. And I didn't keep any of that. So... My dirty little secret is this. I got more stuff. <laughs> but it's not what you think. Like, I didn't go out and buy a bunch of new, okay, I did go buy a few new supplies. But only a few, like it's really like a handful or two of supplies and that's it, that's all I bought. But I've collected a bunch of stuff and I had racks here to send to people I raided the racks. Like, I totally pillaged them. <laughs> and I pulled stuff back out of the racks that I was going to send to people. And I'm going to have to use them for myself. However, whatever I don't use will go back into the racks and I will send out to people. But I had to pillage my own damn racks to people <laughs> because I had nothing. Nothing to embellish pages with whatsoever. So, that's my dirty little secret. So I was going to show you a flip through of my journal and show you some of the new things that I've collected um, that I'm using while I'm here and then they will get put into racks and sent out to other people or just left behind because really it's a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of junk. I collect the most random crap. It's shit that I don't need but it looks really cool in art so I collect it. So come on down to my makeshift studio and I will show you my journal and show you my new random crap. 
Welcome to my temporary studio. <laughs> if it looks like I'm sitting on the bed, it's because I am. This is my air mattress. So yeah, you get to see my bed as my studio. So this is my art journal that I have for while I'm still here in the States. And my goal is to have this thing completely filled up and full and used by the time I leave. So I'm just using a Strathmore visual journal. This is a mixed media journal and it's got 90 pound paper in it. 90 pound mixed media paper. And I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of the pages that are in here and kinda tell you a little bit about what they are about and the mediums that I used. So I'm taking Stephanie Gagos' Journey of Yes Cycle 4 class and this page is about what I'm saying yes to. So the background is done with acrylics and then I, and there's some collage down in there and this was actually a page that I had just had a bunch of um, old paint, you know, like using up the last little bit of paint on my brayer and overspray and things like that. So that's what the background started with. Then I went over it with um, acrylic paints. Then I sketched in the bird with a, what did I use here? I think it was, um, yeah, it was uh, chalk pastel. And then I put a little bit of glitter here and then a little bit of glitter on the yes. This page is done with gelatos. I, is this my gelato page? Yeah, this is my gelato page. I just got these gelatos, these colors. It's like the tropical colors. So it has these really cool like tropical blues and purples and a, a pink and a lime green. So that's what the background of this page is done with. And then I just went in and drew my girl, finished in her face, did a bunch of journaling around, and then this little flower is a paper flower that I layered together and then spritzed with some spray ink and added some glitter to. The next page is more about what I'm saying yes to and my daily practice. So I am learning to speak Italian and part of my daily practice is to work on my Italian app for 30 minutes to 60 minutes a day. So what I did for the background of this one was crinkle up some masking tape and taped it over the entire page and then painted the Italian flag with acrylic paints and did some journaling. This page was super fun and this page here is kind of the reason why I decided to hunt down a bunch of new embellishments and go through those racks because I just didn't have a whole bunch of stuff that I needed. Um, so this is corrugated cardboard. The little bird is done a corrugated cardboard board and his wings actually flat. And I have some brads here holding him down, or holding his wings on rather. And then these pieces are corrugated cardboard as well. There is a piece of folded paper here with a bunch of journaling on it and that piece folds out to about here. It's just rolled upon itself. And this was done with Lumiere paints. I don't know if you've ever tried the Lumiere paints before, but oh my God. These paints are like I want to bathe in them and eat them <laughs> because they are so luscious. There's so much shimmer to them, but they're not glossy. They're not glittery. There's just a shimmer. There's mica powder in them, so they just have a really gorgeous shimmer, and they have the most vibrant, beautiful color. I don't think this video is doing it justice because I'm in my living room, and it's kind of a overcast day, so there's not a light of, lot of light in here, and my overhead lights are just crap. So, But these Lumiere paints are my new favorite paint. This is one of the things that I just purchased. I told you I bought a few new supplies. This was the purchase. So, um, totally loving the Lumiere paints. And that's what the bird and the little uh, text tiles are done with, is the Lumiere paints. And then the entire background is done with acrylics and splatter and just a whole bunch of paint thrown on the page. 
Next is a graphite sketch that I did. This is of uh, Buddha. This is part of me just... It's again for the Journey of Yes course. Um, this is my vision of what my yes, you know, living my yes looks like. So it's really peaceful and serene and accepting. And so that's where this graphite sketch came about. And last but not least is the page that I just did last night and it's called Home Free. And this page was done with Neo Color 2's in the background and then a little bit of the Lumiere paint through some Punchinella. Then I took some corrugated, I was actually this piece of corrugated cardboard and I painted it with some white paint to give this uh, cloud effect here. Then I did some journaling and created the houses using different bits of scrap stuff that I had. So this and this are made from corrugated cardboard. This is actually the little piece of puffy paper that comes in a box of chocolates that I got for Easter. These little polka dotty pieces are drywall tape. These little pieces are metal tape. And this was just a scrap piece of paper that I happened to have. Um, I, I was not recording my process for any of these pages. But if you saw something in here that you would really like to learn how to do and you want a tutorial for it, leave me a comment below and say, hey, can you show us how you did the bird page in your journal? Or hey, show us how you did the house page in your journal. And I will be more than happy to go back and redo the pages and create a tutorial showing you how to do them. So that is my journal so far. This has been about... Um, about two weeks worth of work, not quite two weeks, but things have been really busy, so I haven't been doing a full page every day, so it's probably about a week and a half, but uh, I would be more than happy to do a tutorial on any of these pages, and I'm, I'm going to start recording my process again from now on, so hopefully I will have some videos coming out soon. Now let's talk about my dirty little secret. So if you remember correctly, when I first started this whole process, I had that little black box that I packed all nice and neatly and tightly and everything laid in there and everything had its spot and everything fit perfectly, right? Well, I've actually been using my studio stuff now and it's just not really convenient for me to put everything back in its little place and then have to search through it every single time. So. This is what my travel studio looks like right now. <laughs> but that's not even the worst of it. No, no. Not only does my studio now look like this. <laughs> I'm adding to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let me sit down here again and go through this second box oh crap I have added to the hoard <laughs> so okay let's start with the first box because I know I've, I've got everything all mixed together now I did purchase a few new supplies and I'm sorry if you keep seeing my leg but again remember I'm sitting on an air mattress here so I don't really have much choice um, I still have all the original supplies that were in here and I really haven't bought a whole lot of stuff because I just didn't have room. I don't have room. And I've already decided I'm leaving clothes behind <laughs> because I did buy these few art supplies and they are going with me, damn it. So let me show you what I have actually purchased. I did buy a few things just because I was stupid and didn't keep things behind that I should have kept. So let me just pull all this out. Okay, I think that's everything. So I still have all the basic supplies and some of it is now over in this box because I just needed more space, but I still needed to be able to keep it contained. So um, I have a shoe box that I'm using as well now. Let me just state <laughs> beforehand, I know I have a problem, <laughs> but really not all of this is 
going to Italy with me. Whenever I travel, whatever fits in this black bag is really all I'm keeping. So if if some of this old stuff doesn't fit in here, you know, like this is almost empty. It'll be gone. And of course, you know, my paper towels and all that. But seriously, if it doesn't fit in here, I don't get to keep it. So I'll be getting rid of some old stuff to keep the new stuff. But anyway, I just had to say that to make myself feel better. So these were the things that I actually purchased. Um, I purchased two different spray inks. These are both Heidi Swap. And they were on a really good sale. So <laughs> I bought them. And I bought the bronze and I bought, bought Amethyst. And I purchased these. Oh, it's the Lumiere paints. Oh my God, these paints are so yummy. I don't know if you can see them on here, but like, oh God. Oh, they're falling all over the place. I can't hold them upright. But I bought a uh, turquoise color and I bought a teal color. And then I bought a regular bronze and this one. This one is called... Halo Pink Gold. I'm going to try and show you the gorgeousness that is the Lumiere paints. I don't think the video is going to do them justice, but oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, mm. I want to take a spoon and just eat it. And then I want to take a bath in it and I want to swim in it. Oh my god, I love these paints. And they're not that expensive. I think I paid either $4.50 or $5 for this, for these size bottles. And I do know that you can get them cheaper. That's just how much my Jerry's sells them for. So that's how much I paid for them. But they're not expensive at all. And a little bit goes a long, long, long way. I love these new paints. And on the same aisle with the Lumiere paints was this one. It's a Jacquard Textile Fluorescent Pink. This has a completely different texture than the Lumiere paints, but oh my god, this color is so gorgeous. Love this color. So that's the new paints that I bought. And then I did have the one Matisse Flow. I had the teal, so I bought one more color. I bought the Matisse Rose Matter. And again, this color is just so so yummy and the lighting is not worth a crap in my house today so I, I apologize for that then I, I did have to have oh come back into focus come into focus I did have to have distress ink so I bought one that I knew for a fact I needed a replacement of which is vintage photo and then I bought one that I've really been wanting and haven't bought yet which is frayed burlap so these are things that I would have purchased anyway And I purchased my um, gelatos. I love these. There's a green one too, but I think it's actually still down in the bottom of this box. But there's like this lime green. I've been wanting gelato gelatos for the longest time, and they don't really even take up any space. I could stick these in my pocket <laughs> if I needed to. Why does my camera not focus, damn it? It keeps going out of focus. Okay, and then I did buy a thing of washi tape because... Uh, I have my year in a life journal and I've used up almost all of my washi tape so I actually had to have one of these. So it all makes perfect sense really. It's not like I'm just buying crap to be buying crap. <laughs> I needed those things. I needed them. So now let's talk about what is over in this box. Now again, some of my original items have made their way into this box just because I don't have enough space to work and play in the first box. I need to be able to spread it out a little bit. So that's where this whole box even came from. That was the idea behind it anyway. So I'm just gonna kinda pull out some of the stuff that I originally had. There may be a few more things in here, but I think I've pulled pretty much everything out. And now I just wanna talk to you about some of the things that I have collected since I've been here. And some of the stuff that I took out of those rack boxes, but whatever. Uh, so we went to Medieval Times. I kept the little crown because I can cut these little pieces out and use them. 
I have a notebook because I didn't have any plain white paper and this is plain white on the back so I can use that for journaling. Um, we are remodeling some things in our house and the movers came so I inherited tape. Hope oh, that was in there before. I had to have a new eraser because I used mine up almost. Found these in a closet. They were mine already. They were supposed to be in, in my son's school notebook. They're just subject dividers. And they're kind of clear, but translucent, but milky. So I was happy to find those. I didn't even do anything. I just, they were in my closet, so mine. And yeah, I think that's, oh, electrical tape. I also inherited that from the remodel. I also inherited a thing of spackle, but it's not in here right now because it's, I'm using it in part of the house. But I have a little tube of spackle from the, from the um, remodeling as well. All the rest of this crap <laughs> is stuff that I have collected since, about, since I've been here with nothing else. Oops, I just dumped all those out. Um, or things that I took out of the rack boxes. So let me just kind of show you a little bit about what these are. I did go buy these at Home Depot because again, we're doing home improvements and I saw these at Home Depot and I love these things. I use them for years all the time. So I did buy a, a few packets of those, but I would have bought them anyway, just saying. So I have some corrugated cardboard. I have a larger piece of it here as well. And this is just from a pizza box and it's perfect, perfect corrugated cardboard for projects. This is what I made that bird from. I also used it to create a stamp and this is what that other little house and the roofs were made from as well and you can use used pizza boxes but if you go to a pizza place they'll give you a couple of boxes for free so that way you don't have to worry about the oil and stuff on it um, and then these are just some little papers and things that I took back out of the rack boxes this is a dauber that I found after the fact you know after they had packed our stuff out I don't know how it didn't get packed so I just kept it um, we, again, Home Depot has these awesome tags. You can get these in the kitchen department where you get like your kitchen counters redone. These are the samples of the different tiles they have available and they have two different sizes. So they have this big one and then they have a little one and they're like, I don't know what they're made out of, but I got a few of those. Um, more rack stuff <laughs> that I hijacked and we'll go back in to racks eventually. <laughs> this is the random crap that I've collected. You know, just random shit that I find on the street. It's, well, I did buy that, but. <laughs> Bottle caps, ceramic tiles. This is the lock out of our storm door that we replaced. Random screws and nails out of the walls and different things that we're fixing in my house. So, I mean, you know, like I find this crap all the time. And it's just stuff that I have put into this box to be able to use. Look at these, aren't these cool? These came off of something. Oh, um, our sliding glass door. We replaced the wheels on the sliding glass door, so I kept the old ones. So it's, you know, it's just little crap that I've accumulated to actually be able to use while I'm here um, that I didn't think to keep before. And this stuff will all just get left behind. So you may find these little random things in journal pages. Look, look at this. Look how cute. It's a keychain that was broken that I found in the street. I'm using that somewhere, damn it. So there you have it. I just wanted to share my studio with you. And, you know, it's not as pretty as it first was when I first put everything into the box because I had to be able to get my hands in there and actually play with it. So that's the state of my traveling art studio as it is right now. Yes, I'm aware I have a crafting problem. No, I do not want help for it. <laughs> I'm acknowledging it and knowing is half the battle. So there you have it. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. New art videos coming soon, new tutorials and journal page, high speed fast forward, watch me get it done kind of things happening soon. 
Remember, if you want to see a tutorial for anything you saw in my journal, leave me a comment below and tell me which page you really liked and which page you want to see a tutorial for, and I will get that together for you. If you like what I do here, if you like seeing all this craziness and want to see more of my adventures and continue to follow me once I move to Italy, then don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down below so that way you don't miss any of the action, and then give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. Share it with your friends, tell them about it so they can hang out with us too. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And I will see you next time. Bye!